Live from the Duncan Latte Lounge. Here we are in the Duncan Latte Lounge, the virtual lounge. I'm Wendy Wild from 103.5 KTU, and I am super excited today to have Matt Legrand. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Wendy? Great. It's so great to see you. You have fabulous hair, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's the, it's the quarantine hair. You it's, as well. I, I love your hair as well. Oh, thank you. You're yeah. beautiful. I love it. Um, your new single, Crazy Boucha, is out now. And when did you release that? Yeah, so that was released uh, about three weeks ago now. Wow, it, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's been, it's been sitting in my pocket for, for a little bit. And, you know, the pandemic delayed a little bit. So, uh, but I'm glad, I'm glad that it's out and it's out of my hands and into the world. I'm getting all this stuff out and it feels so good. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine. So what was that like? I mean, I can only imagine trying to record music during a pandemic. I mean, was it a different process for you? So luckily, everything um, that has to do with my upcoming EP that's coming out on the 27th and all the singles and, and um, most of the videos that are coming out was done prior oh. to the pandemic. So we kind of got lucky on that. Uh, we got really lucky. It, it, we, we, we did a lot of work in 2019. We really like buckled down almost, almost like we knew this was coming. I don't know. It was weird. Uh, we buckled down. We got everything out of the way. And we were going to um, uh, release in, in, back in March, actually, when, when, when this all hit. So then it all hit and, and you know, re-strategizing became a right. huge skill. Um, well, we know a lot of artists did that. Lady Gaga was one. She, you know, delayed her Chromatica album. I mean, who would have expected anything like this to happen? I know. I know. It's, it's, it's really sad. And we just have to work around with, with what we got. And I think, I think that at least in my camp, I'm, I'm so proud of my, my team and my manager just to like pivot and, and, you know, continue to move this forward. And, um, really bring it to a spot where we can release now. And it's, it's been difficult. It's been difficult, but you know what, this time at home has given me obviously a lot of time to grow my hair out <laughs> and um, just time to do more music than I've ever done before. So it's given me, it's given me a lot of good positive things. That that's fantastic. And it's given you more time to watch Lord of the Rings, right? Cause I heard you're a huge fan. <laughs> Extended editions only, which is like, what like an hour extra content in each film so it's the long haul it's like 13 hours not That's many a commitment i got i gotta brush up but um you know it, it's funny you are from chicago um pivoting here big food city chicago known for their deep dish pizza oh. but you know what i'm you know where i'm going with this right yeah yeah okay i need to know how you truly feel about new york pizza oh man all right i think i think simplicity is key I think the same thing with pasta. I think with pizza, simplicity is key. I absolutely love New York pizza. I, I like deep dish a little less, but only from a specific place. There's a specific place in Chicago called Pequod's Pizza. If you find yourself in Chicago, you need to go there. I know that that show Emily in Paris too. They just got, they got like in trouble, like cause <laughs> from Chicago and she mentions like, oh, you must have had Lou Malnati's deep dish pizza. And look, I'm going to follow Lily Collins. Yeah, I don't like Lou Malnati's either. Go to Pequod's. Go to Pequod's. That's the best deep dish in Chicago. Yeah. Um, Next time I find myself in Chicago, like when traveling's a thing again, I'm definitely going to have to check that out. Pequod's, yes. But I like New York pizza. And I also think that giving it a little bit of a coming coming with pizza in like a left field kind of territory like the west coast kind of i think that's interesting too like i like pineapple on my pizza like i don't mind it you know yeah listen i'm with you i know it's controversial but since we're on the topic of food and we are in the duncan latte lounge here's a question for you if you could have a latte a duncan latte with any artist that inspires you dead or alive who would that be you know i am so into right now i'm i don't know why but i've just been researching them and oasis and i've kind of become like obsessed with their like brotherly feud that they have going on because they're just like you know they do like 
they do like uh, separate interviews and they just like completely like obviously the interviewer is going to ask them about so how's your relationship with your brother right now and they kind of just like take jabs at each other and I'm kind of obsessed with it right now <laughs> how like actually bad they're you know who knows I don't know what 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 happened but I would love to sit down and have a coffee with uh, Noel Gallagher from from Oasis and <laughs> you guys can break out into some wonder wall right oh yeah for or sure. maybe perhaps you guys could do a round of what christmas means to me which is uh, a cover that you did for the holidays absolutely or white christmas i'm always I'm, i mean come on christmas music and an oasis one of the members of oasis let's do it i'm here for it wendy well we're so here for it your performances i have to ask are you ready to to give us a little something i am let's do it wendy Hey everyone, it's Matt Legrand here. I'm going to sing you guys a few songs, but before I jump into that, I just want to give a huge shout out to Z100, iHeartRadio, and the delicious Duncan. Thank you for having me on Duncan Latte Lounge. I love lattes. They're like my favorite thing in the whole wide world, so thank you, thank you. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. This first song is my brand new single. It's called All Good. And it's really, it's a song about self-love and coming back to who you are. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Keeping to myself now. Keeping my emotion down. I know you're sitting in time alone. That you don't need me around. You know I let you check up on you Even though you told me not to worry about you I know you're feeling good but I feel for you Since you walked up out my life I'm all good, all good Cause I know I did the best I could, I could Now there ain't no going back It's all good, I'm fine with that Girl, do you, I'm doing So I went the other way Now you got nothing to complain about But you know I still check up on you Even though you told me not to worry about you I know you're feeling good but I feel for you Well since you walked up out my life I'm all good, all good Cause I know I did the best I could, I could Now there ain't no going back It's all good, I'm fine first single off of my debut self-titled EP, which is coming out November 27th, uh, save the date. Uh, this is Crazy About You, and the cool thing about this song is my manager Bryant Reed had a really, really cool idea to bring a sound from a different time into today. So it's got a sample, and it's got a really cool blend of new and old. It's got a retro feel, so hope you enjoy it. This is Crazy About You. Crazy about you, the way you work it, got me crazy. You make me, make me, the way you work it, got me crazy. You make me, make me, crazy about you, crazy about you, love. You make me feel like I'm the only one. I can't pretend with you, it's crazy fun. You say the perfect things like I'm the one. I'm crazy about you, I'm crazy about you, crazy about you love Like I'm the one 
crazy about you, crazy about your love Girl, you have to know that you're my number one Anyone can see you got me gone, I'm done I'm foolish, but some clueless, blinded by your touch I gotta admit it, I'm crazy about you, crazy about your love I can't believe that finally I get to feel this way You may This is going to be my last and final song, sadly. Before I do that, I just want to thank Z100 again, iHeartRadio, and Duncan. Thank you for letting me in on this bit of fun. Uh, it was such a pleasure. Thank you so much. And most importantly, thank you, uh, the viewers, for tuning in and lending me your time. I know you could be doing a million other things like watching Netflix, which is what I'm about to go do after this, but you chose to be here. and. Uh, listening to what I have to say and what I have to sing. So here's one to get you in the holiday spirits. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones we used to know where the treetops are glistening And children listen to hear Sleigh bells in the snow well, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas With every Christmas card I write May your days, may your days, may your days be merry and bright And may all your Christmases be white Come on. Hey. I said I'm, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones we used to know where the treetops are glistening And children listen to hear Sleigh bells in the snow Oh, 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 I'm, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas With every Christmas card I Matt LeGrand, everybody. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you. We could have you sing here all day in the Dunkin' Latte Lounge. So wonderful. Um, I have to ask you, I know it's a little weird with COVID and everything, but what's up next for you? What can your fans expect? Are you going to be doing any virtual performances, online social stuff? Yep, absolutely. There's still a ton of stuff to do in my world uh, before the end of the year. Uh, I have a new music video for my brand new single, All Good. It's actually a remix to All Good. It's a, it's a kind of a reggaeton Latin remix. And then the self-titled Matt Legrand EP, which has taken so long to make, but I'm so proud of it and I can't believe it's coming out. It's November 27th. So that's gonna be a huge moment. Wow. So, yeah, and then along with that, um, I'm going to be doing a couple live stream performances. Um, and we just did my first one uh, back in October. It was called Matt Legrand and Friends. And we had 
uh, two opening artists and we did it. Um, I, I went down to Atlanta and we made a whole show out of it. DJ Nabs was hosting it. It was, it was awesome. We had a whole band there. It was, it was really kind of a fully produced show. And, um, but without the giant audience. Right. I know. That must be kind of weird to get used to, but. It is. It's almost like, it's almost like shooting a music video kind of, but it's, it's, it is, it is very strange. I feed so much off of just real life interaction as so many artists do. Um, it's, it's, it's very strange, but, uh, I think that going into the new year, it's going to be kind of a really, really good way to just keep things going and keep, keep, uh, people listening to music which is my goal. <laughs> yeah, and we got a nice little present wrapped in a beautiful bow coming our way with your EP. So we talked a little bit about music. We talked a lot about food. <laughs> but I, I do need to know if there are any charities or organizations or you know, people you like to work with that's near and dear to your heart. Yeah, absolutely. Um, especially during this time. I, I do a lot of work with an organization called Feed My Starving Children, um, which you go in there and pack up meals um and they make it really fun and they just send it all across the world um and just to see how they've just maneuvered around everything um during the pandemic and still have made it like you know safe to come in and do it that's that's like really inspiring to see causes still um putting in the effort and the work and realizing that look yes, this pandemic is happening, but it also can't, you know, um, it can't stop, you know, uh, other, other causes. So Feed My Starving Children is, is one I definitely um, go to, and I, I just stand by them so much. And then also a uh, organization called Salt and Light Coalition, which is uh, based in Chicago, but they, they work with um, women that have been sexually trafficked. And um, I do music therapy there actually wow um, so I, I i i work i work with the women and we just talk about music and just what it means to them and how uh how healing art art can be um so they're they're another one that i absolutely love love working with so if anyone can just check them out and just see how you can help um and that can just be as simple as just a follow on social media um, and, and, and just spreading awareness. That's, that's the biggest thing. So thank yep. you for that. I mean, all wonderful things for you. Cause you're just a gem of a human. So how can people reach out to you on social? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the best place is definitely Instagram. That's at Matt Legrand official. I'm pretty sure my phone number is in the bio there too. So that's not a bad way to We won't it. tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Instagram is definitely the best way. And then uh, Twitter is at Maddie Legrand. Um, Facebook, it's Matt Legrand. Everything else, just all across the board, Matt Legrand. And then my website as well, mattlegrandmusic.com. Well, thanks for making it easy. Now, if you love this performance and you want to see more, don't forget to hashtag Dunkin' Latte Lounge or head to dunkinlattelounge.com. Matt Legrand, you're amazing. Thank you so much again. Thanks, Wendy. I appreciate you so much. Live from the Dunkin' Latte Lounge, 